Alright ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to be doing a video on who I think the characters are going to be coming out. Uh, there's been so many people saying that there's leaks and yada 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 and I, I've heard that people say that there's like five different leaks. I'm not going to trust whatever I've seen. I'm going to go with my gut that I've been saying for about a week or two straight. Ever since part one was announced, I was like, okay, this is my gut pick for part two. And then I have some other thoughts, like maybe we could do this. I'm 99% sure it's going to be Thousand or Bubble. I don't see it being premium. I don't see it being some random future banner. Maybe it could be a future society banner, but I'm going to shelve all that stuff. I think it's Thousand or Blood War. Um, so that's what I'm going to be going with for all of my picks. Uh, I have a few that I think that could happen and I would actually like to see. Uh, and then there are just some that are like, here's some extra characters because I've heard it's unhype. <laughs> that's all I've heard. Mainly just saying... It's on hype, and there's a PvP skill data mine. So, and since we get a PvP character every single year, I'm inclined to believe that one of the characters is gonna have to take a fumble and be a PvP character. So maybe, maybe it's not bad if the part two is mid, and then they have a part three like last year, or it was, it was Kilgay, Bambietta, and uh, Eburn, and then that's the hype banner. So. You know, if it isn't if it isn't that hype, maybe maybe we have redemption with part three because they're like, okay, we have to make a PvP character. A lot of people hate it. Let's make it a mid banner and make the mid the PvP character a really mid character that nobody cares for. That's that's my hope and prayer. If we get a PvP character, I hope the entire banner is mid because then I don't have to be like, oh darn, my favorite character is a PvP character because <laughs> I hate PvP. Um, but yeah, so I'm still gonna go with my gut pick. And I'm going to be devastated with any of the characters that end up being an anniversary or a PvP character. Um, by the way, we should be getting news in about 20 hours. 20 hours by the time we upload this. Um, but another reason I'm going to be leaning towards also going to be going over what they could be as like killers and whatnot. Because we do have this. Or I have to full screen this otherwise you can't actually see it. Um, but this uh, has the GQ rotations. And this upcoming G guild quest after this week will be Melee Human and range no affiliation so that's what people are speculating for part two to be uh one melee human killer and a range no affiliation killer um and then the other one is probably a pvp character i'm really praying though one of these is a super potion farmer because you'll see i have a few attributes that i want it to be uh obviously the attributes could be off but you know uh, but yeah, Melee Human uh, is the next week for Phase 1, and then Range No Affiliation be, should be the second uh, phase of next week. Uh, and this is going to be my first pick. I think this is what most people would like. Thousand over Byakuya, Asna, and Rukia. And I'm making Byakuya the goddamn PvP character, because as much as I love Byakuya more than Asna, more than Rukia, I am thinking for the community's sake. Um, because also it would be Tartarus form as not, I just don't have a PNG of him, so I used, you know, I, I, I used the BBS render, um, or Volsan Dig as not, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm, I'm throwing Byakuya underneath the bus. It's unfortunate. Hopefully he ends up getting a character in quarter three that's not PvP. Uh, but as not, if he's a PvP character, we're never going to get another one of him, most likely. If he is the Tartarus form as not, I don't see us getting another one of him. Bankai Rukia, first anime remake. That shit has to be broken. So I'm assume, I'm going to go with Byakuya PvP character as not a power potion farmer. Uh, and then Rukia for the uh, uh, heart, heart, uh, what call it? Heart, heart big damage SP character. Uh, now there was the thing for the Senkaman where apparently people were speculating that it's going to be a Soul Reaper character. So that's why another reason I was making Rukia heart. Uh, the attributes doesn't mean that much, except for Asnuts. I want Asnuts to be a power 110%, or the Potion Farmer to be, you know, an, uh, to be power. And another big reason is because the Anniversary Co-op. Uh, last year we had Chojuro, the, I want to say the year before that, 7th Anniversary Part 2. No, we didn't have a Farmer. I was wrong. I was wrong. We did not have a Farmer that, we, that year. Either way, I'm really coping. Uh, no, it was Kaname. When Kaname dropped, that's when I first saw the Anniversary Co-op event. Safui uh, Kaname, that's when it dropped, and you could farm like 100,000, 200,000 Link Slot Potions with him because he was really, really fast, he was really, really good, and that's what I want with Asna. I want him to be a plus 10 Super Pot Farmer, a plus 5 Potion Farmer, and then a 30% Droplet and plus 10 Droplet guaranteed. Uh, 
droplet character. That's what I want. That is my gripe, or what I want. You know, Pierce Iron Skin, 100% more damage to non-afflicted ailment enemies, that sort of stuff. Uh, Rukia, insane heart character. Uh, I w would like double killer, but I have a feeling if they keep on going with this new nightmare quest that we got this week, it's going to be like, uh, honestly, I'd prefer human killer, I, like genuinely, uh, over no affiliation, but either one, but it would be either human or no affiliation plus. That's what I'm assuming. It'll probably only be one killer. And then, you know, maybe the potion character can be uh, no affiliation. Because I think uh, the range no affiliation has a better character than the melee human. Melee human desperately needs a character. Range no affiliation at least has Maisie. Uh, Macy at least has Asna. At least has 8th anniversary Ichigo. They have, they have characters there. Melee human has literally no one to my knowledge. So that's why I'm hoping that maybe the potion farmer is range no affiliation. And then... Oh my god, wait, that would mean two Asnots would be ranged no affiliation. That'd be kind of funny. So maybe not, maybe not. Either way, ranged no affiliation character, one of them. Uh, so maybe, you know, you can swap these two. But, you know, either way, either way, my bad. I, I'm, I'm rambling. That's what I would like. You know, Bankai Rukia Heart, uh, Melee, Human, ranged no affiliation, Asnot yet again. But who knows, maybe we just won't get that because we already do have a very good ranged no affiliation team. Uh, power, power potion character, and then PvP, Byakuya, rest in peace. Uh, and since he is mine, he would be able to counter uh, the Yuha, because he's still pretty good in the meta. Um, Meninas as well, you know, stuff like that. Maybe he ended up having Quincy Killer or something, or no affiliation killer, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's, that's my little take on it. Um, as for my second guess, uh, I've been saying this all week as well. It's basically the same banner, except... PvP Renji. As much as I hate to say it, if if this banner was a real thing and we had to have a PvP character, 90% of the votes would probably go towards Renji. There's probably some Rukia haters that would say her. There's probably some Asna haters that would say him. But you you can't lie that most of the Bleach fandom would say it should be a PvP character Renji. It's unfortunate, but that's just what I see happening. If this is a banner, that ends up happening, and I will be very disappointed. Uh, I like all three of these characters, all four of them technically if you include Byakuya. But this banner, uh, along with the last banner, just makes sense because Rukia and Renji, you know, that makes sense. Obviously, it could be like a James and Renji banner later down the line, but I'm saying if if it was Rukia and, Ren uh, Rukia and Asna, it would be either Byakuya or Renji on the banner. Th those, those are the only two characters that would make sense. And if it's a two-character banner, L. I want a three-character banner. Um, so yeah, this is, this is my second guess, and... It sucks to say that we might end up getting a PvP character. I really don't want one. I really wish we just could get rid of PvP characters and make them mid-months, like GQ NAD characters. But at this point, part two is always going to be a shaft for a character. Uh, now going on to the part three, uh, this is what I hope we get for August end of month. I'm not going to lie, because uh, hopefully we get something cool here, or who knows, maybe we'll get something really mid, and you know, to make the PvP character mid, but you know, really broken so people summon. Um, but yeah, uh, this. Th th this is what I want for August end of month, realistically, but it could happen. Uh, Mayuri, obviously Rainbow Mayuri or Sunflower Mayuri, whichever one, just don't have a good PNG. Zombie Toshiro, he's a Soul Reaper. I didn't want to... I guess I could have made him the power character, the Potion Farmer, but I feel like people would want a DPS one. And I guess the last Mayuri we did end up having was power, so you could flip flop these two if you really wanted to. No hate on either one, I just kind of put them in wherever. Uh, and then I think Giselle would end up being the PvP character, and I'd be so upset. But if it's August, then it can be saved, and it doesn't matter. And she could just be one of the best mind characters in the entire game. Uh, and then obviously, this is extreme copium, having a uh, zombie Bambietta as a, like, a, a tag team character in a way. Um... I feel like they would just sell Bambietta on her own though, because it's Bambietta, people would still probably summon, but it's, it's a zombie Bambi, so it's like, yeah, would you summon? I don't know, it kind of, very, very weird fight, but like, I, I don't see these three characters not being sold apart from each other, there's like, because it, it wouldn't make any sense, this is like Giselle's big fight, this is Mayuri's main fight in Core 2, this is the only time Toshiro really fights, besides absolutely bodying Kaku and uh, Yumichika. This this should be the banner. This realistically should. If it's not, then I'm gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> it, it it makes too much sense for these three to be in a banner. Or maybe a zombie Bambietta would take out Giselle's spot, and she would go with like uh, the 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 Bambi girls, like Little Toto or something. That could also be a case. But th this is what I'm thinking. 
power potion farmer from my Yuri, make him absolutely broken, absolutely broken heart character, because we do have some, but I, I would like a third one, or like another option, uh, and then a PvP character, I don't really care about the actual for the PvP character, I just chose mind, I just chose mind, I don't know, it could be a power one, could, but if we get a power farmer, I don't think we would get two power characters in one banner, uh, because obviously Orihime is the number one character, so, you know, maybe it could just be a human killer, oh, wait, isn't it melee human? Oh my god, melee human side character. <laughs> Imagine they make it a PvP character. Melee human to counter Orihime and to be a decent side in the, in the guild quest. Oh my god, that would be, that'd be such a troll. Uh, I would not want that. I want a main damage dealer like Remy or something like that. Or even like a character like Yuha. Like I don't think it needs to be as broken as Kampachi and... Uh, and Grammy. It needs to be on like Yuha or Ishii level though, I feel. That's, that, that's what we need. Um... Now, for the rest of the characters, it's kind of just, like, random thousand year bubble. Because I heard the banner sucks, okay? I've heard it. That, that That's all I've heard. I've heard people laugh at the banner. So, I'm like, what's such a random core 2 banner? Because I'm going with core 2. I, I'm not going with core 1. Core, a super random core 2 banner that might work. And I thought of this. Obviously, okay, also, I put Yachiru here. I don't know why I didn't put Omida. Just just think that this is Omida. <laughs> just just think this is Omida. Um... BG9 so I found a Mida. That uh that that that, that could end up being a banner. Man, I really wish I had actual art for this guy, but it's just from the be the bleach website. Um yeah, I think PvP character. Also, if I put Omida here, I might swap as not or uh BG9 and uh Omida. Make Omida the PvP character. The number one PvP character being Omida would be kinda be funny. Soy Fun I would love as a farmer. I really like Soy Fun. She would be the only character I would generally summon for if this was a banner. But Soifan BG9, I don't care for BG9 at all. I, I genuinely don't. I don't care about him. I would genuinely like to summon for Soifan. Um, and then the third character I don't think would interest me if it's like Basby, you know, something from that little scuffle. Or uh, maybe, well, we already got Rengiku and Toshiro, so I don't think it would be a Toshiro there. Um, but yeah, or Amida, I just don't think is that interesting. I think he's a really annoying character. So yeah, sorry I mixed this up. I should have changed this, but I just kind of forgot. But yeah. Just a random mix of characters because I've heard it's bad, so that's what I'm going with. Same thing for this final guess. Okay, this isn't a random banner, I guess, but like... The only thing randomness about this is the fact that we've gotten two Bambies within a year. I don't think they would do a third, and that's why I'm shafting her to the PvP slot. If we get three Bambiettas, I'm shafting her to the PvP slot. <laughs> I want Sajna to get an actual good character. Genuinely, I want I want Bankai Sajin to get an actual good character, so I think a farmer would be fine. Uh, you could either switch that with Sajin or Shinji. As as I said, it's going to be a Soul Reaper in the heart slot. That's what I'm guessing, Soul Reapers. So you could easily swap these two because they're both Soul Reapers. Uh, make one of them the best heart character in the game, or make one of them the best power character in the game for farming Link Slot Potions, Super Link Slot Potions, and Droplets, that sort of thing. And then Shaft Bambi, because she's already gotten two characters. She's hot, she'll sell. Even though she's a pair PvP character, I think people would still summon. Um, so, yeah, that, that's my whole thing for this little scuffle of a fight, if this ends up happening. Um, yeah, now obviously, there are some more characters, like Nanao, you know, uh, maybe they could do Momo. <laughs> Who knows? But I was trying to think of somewhat hype characters. Like, I think Mayuri is really, really cool. I liked him. Uh, obviously, none of these characters do anything besides Rookie in this slot. Uh, Mayuri is, like, the only one that does anything. We already have a Yumachika. I don't think they would do a solo Ikaku. Yachiru is, like, without Kenny, it seems so weird. So, I think they might just end up pushing Kenpachi to, or uh, Yachiru to Core 3, where we get Bankai uh, Kenpachi. And then, uh, these characters literally do nothing. We already have a Kenpachi. We have a Rangiku. I already showed Zombie Toshiro most likely. I don't really. I mean, I guess there's Hollow Fight Toshiro. People were really excited for when uh, King Do dropped. They're thinking that would be Hollow Fight Toshiro, but we didn't get that. But like, when we get another thousand bubble Toshiro, like five, what is that? Yeah, five months after. Like that. That. That's so soon. People are complaining about getting two Yuhas, a Yuha for end of year and one for Annie. But then another Toshiro, and it's like a whatever form. I don't know. I prefer Zombie Tosh to be honest. Uh, Shinji. And Byakuya and Renji and Sajin definitely deserve an actual good character. Isani didn't really do anything. Uh, Momo literally saved Shinji. <laughs> so, you know, uh, these characters, these two didn't really do much. They talked to Jugum the entire time. Soifan and Omaido did fight BG9. And then Rose, I mean, him and Kenze did fight Mass. So maybe that would be the banner, a potential banner. Izuru is literally dead until, you know, a certain scene. Um, these three characters are all dead. 
Uh, they don't really do anything. Oh my god, Ganju Part 2, holy peak. Uh, I, it could be these two, you know, it could be, but like, I feel like we need Bankai Senjumaru and then these two, you know, to really fill out the banner, or maybe they would just put the Royal Guard, or the Wandering Reich, you know, the, uh, these guys, uh, Pernida, Askin, or, uh, maybe an Uryu, or Jugurum, or something, you know, uh, Lilibaro, or Gerard, you know, something like that, like, there's so many characters, it's like, yikes, who do you, who do you even pick? That's why I was trying to pick a somewhat concise banner, but it's kind of hard, you know? It's kind of hard. There's so many characters in Thousand of Blood War. I was trying to pick a somewhat hype banner, but yeah, that's uh, that, that, that's my thought process. So to finish off the idea, PvP, a PvP character, doesn't matter what attribute, don't really care, uh, Power Potion Farmer, and then a Heart uh, Melee Human Killer. Uh, so for Rukia in this case, as not for the power of Potion Farmer, and then whoever, Renji or Biaki as the PvP character. Let me know down below what you guys think. Obviously there are leaks floating around, so who knows? Maybe this is a thousand percent wrong. I don't know. But take care. Hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day, and peace out.